in our second semi-final here at the women's mass start. And uh, they are listed by ranking points. And worth pointing out that in that first semi-final, from uh, one to eight, seven of those eight were qualifiers. A big surprise being the very lowly ranked Portuguese skater, Jessica Rodriguez, who was ranked dead last of the 17. She ends up taking second place. But the movers and shakers here, we expect to be Liu Yunqi of the People's Republic of China, a double medalist already, Hannah Mazur and Lim Li Wong are ranked two and three for Poland and the Republic of Korea, respectively. They two are medalists already. Christina Shumikova of Kazakhstan, the twin sister of Alina, who we've already seen qualifying. Yasmine Vainhus of the Netherlands, the teammate of uh, Angel Dalaman, Marley Soldan of the United States. People's Republic of China. Right, let's meet them one by one. Poland, Hanna Mazur. Republic of Korea, Lee Won Lim. Kim Lee Won. Kazakhstan, Kristina Shumekova. Kazakhstan, Kristina Shumekova. Netherlands, Yasmin Van House. Netherlands, Yasmin Van House. United States of America, Marley Solden. Bigo, Marley Solden. Germany, Paula Albrecht. Togil, Paula Albrecht. Norway, Martin Solem. Norway, Martin Solem. Italy, Georgia Franceschini. Italy, Georgia Franceschini. Portugal, Francesca Enriquez. Portugal, Francesca Enriquez. Japan, Waka Sasabuchi. Japan, Sasabuchi Waka. Spain, Lucia Alapont Martinez. Spain, Lucia Alapont Martinez. Colombia, Isabella Caicedo Gutierrez. Colombia, Isabella Caicedo Gutierrez. Austria, Sarah Rosner. Austria, Sarah Rosner. Hungary. Lila Ene Sandor. Hungary, Lila Ene Sandor. Romania, Theodora Parvu. Romania, Theodora Parvu. Dangerous skater in this group. Let's keep an eye out for her. Is uh, wearing the number 11 helmet. Is uh, Waka Sasabuchi of Japan, who's a real sprint specialist. And uh, Although, as I say, she's ranked number 11 out of 16 here as we just get the final instructions. I think they know what they're doing, but uh, always good for the reminder. But she might be the skater to keep an eye on. We've got Isabella Caicedo Gutierrez of Colombia with a question there. Ten laps of the track then, with uh, points for sprint finishes at the end of uh, laps four, seven, and the one that really matters, lap ten. So away we go, and it's uh, steady as they go. We've got Liu Yunqi leading a very pedestrian place as a place as a, a pace, shall I say? Like timing's completely irrelevant here. It is all about just securing a top eight finish. Uh, yeah. Somebody will make a move and that will generate a response, but nobody in any kind of hurry to make a move here through these uh, early laps. But somebody will go and then it's a case of uh, can the rest of the group cover? There's so many skaters on there, you don't really want to be... Uh, trotting around at the back because there's an awful lot of ground to make up and an, an awful lot of traffic to navigate. We use looking around as if to say, does anybody want to come and play? Tempo just picks up a little bit. I see the Gutierrez of Colombia's uh, handily placed there, but they're all very much in it. As the pace does pick up a little bit. I suspect we're not going to see an awful lot happening until they hear the bell. That's uh, Sara Rosner, the Austrian, keeping a very watchful eye. And uh, Shumikova of Kazakhstan is up there as well. Johanna Mazur, the 1,500-meter uh, bronze medalist, well-placed in this group as well. But it is still, right, maybe time to make a move. It's almost like a sort of herd instinct, isn't it? Somebody twitches and everybody reacts. 
and the tempo has just picked up and uh, now let's see if we'll start to see them get stretched out a little bit with Lucia Alapont Martinez of Spain happily front running here and uh, Paula Albrecht up in there along with um, Hannah Mazur there's the bell Mazur, Albrecht Rosner and Lilia Sandor amongst the uh, pace setters. The Europeans all going strongly here as we get into sprint one, our first one. It will secure some bonus points for our first three skaters. So away we go. Now Shumakova taking much closer order here along with Hannah Mazur, two of the top contenders that we were expecting to see up amongst the contenders. Keep an eye out for Liu, who's uh, in that pack somewhere, but I don't think he's going to pick up any uh, sprint points. We'll await for official confirmation, but uh, Christina Shumikova and Hannah Mazur, and uh, we're definitely um, amongst them with, uh, as I say, Waka Sasabuchi was up in the mix, and she will pick up two points as well. So she's, she's a danger. As I say, wearing that number 11 helmet there, the Japanese skater is very, very capable of being uh, a contender not only to qualify out of this semi-final but potentially to get on the podium because she is a sprint specialist and if she can keep herself out of trouble she'll be in good shape Liu just missed out there but I don't think be too bothered it's uh, Mazur that will pick up maximum points and the, uh, the attack now does come from Liu now Liu will try and stretch him out and a couple have gone past her there, including Rosner, the uh, Austrian. And uh, that's a big move there from Sarah Rosner. A really big move. Well, this is interesting. I mean, they're closing her down already, but... I tell you, the gap between first and fourth here is pretty large. As we see Christina Shumakova now taking much closer order. And the, the points are going to come from these four here with uh, Isabella Caicedo Gutierrez and the American Marley Soldan skating well and uh, Christina Shumikova hitting the front as uh, Rosner has timed this really badly and has dropped right back into the pack and Soldan's going to come in and take maximum points here with Shumikova claiming a couple more and uh, that's Gut Caicedo Gutierrez of Colombia picking up the uh, one sprint point as well Well, that's where the sprint points are. But now, now the serious business. Soldan and Shumikova locked together, one and two. Liu has made no kind of move at all, but Liu will be very aware that uh, it's not about winning the semi-final. It's just making sure you're on the right side of the cutoff line. And I don't think for one minute that Liu Yong-Ki of the People's Republic of China is going to be on the wrong side of that line, but she's... Uh, Sitting a long way back. Well, we'll wait for the attack from her. Right in the middle of that pack there, and so far showing no kind of desire to move. This is going to be a real blanket finish, potentially, as uh, it's the other Dutch skater, Jasmine Veenhoos, who's decided to uh, head for the hills here. Well, this is a very, very gutsy skate. Wayne who's going for it with the uh, Norwegian. Martin Solem tucked in behind her. Christina Shumakova and Waka Sasabuchi in third and fourth. Sasabuchi slides out. Oh, what a shame for her. That's a real disappointment for her. But here's our sprint finishers. And there's the blanket finish. And that is going to do it. Vainhu Solem Shumakova leading the way. Sasha Bucci. What a shame for her. We'll await official confirmation of who's in and who's out. I'm pretty sure it was Sasha Bucci that uh, crashed out. But we will await official confirmation. And that was a solid skate from uh, Yasmine Vainhus.
It was actually Lim Lee Won, the Korean skater who crashed out, not Waka Sasabuchi. Well, we didn't even mention her name during this skate, but she made that big attack and uh, put too much into it and slid straight out. So um, that's a real disappointment. The uh, host nation is not going to be represented in the women's final. Yes, by Vainhus. Liu Yung Ki with the strong finish as well. Martin Solem with a very strong finish. Georgia Franceschini, Marley Soldan, Christina Shumakova, Hannah Mazur. And uh, the surprise qualifier out of this heat and will await official confirmation because there's always the risk of a disqualification is Isabella Caicedo Gutierrez of Colombia. I think has just sneaked eighth place. Well, no real drama until that big attack from Lim coming out of that final bend. The uh, mixed relay silver medalist got it all wrong. Ladies and, gentlemen, and you get it wrong at this level. You're crashing out and your race is run. The Liu deciding it was time to take much closer order. Nick passed Martin Solem there into second place behind Yasmin. Veenhoos of the Netherlands and Mazur will sneak in to the eighth position as well. Uh, Caicedo Gutierrez in action.